We are still here in the Gulf of Mexico on the beach with our new besties, Sarah and Jay. And can I just tell you, this has been the best and warmest winter of my entire life. I love it here so much I don't want to leave. Not like, love. <laughs> Here's what we do all day, every day. Fishing by the water's edge. One, two, three, four, five. There's five poles out here right now, and Skylar's got one down there. That's six hooks in the water. No fun is being made. I'm just merely stating the obvious. There's some serious fishing going on over here. Don't need your bad talking. Well, they got to have something to do while they're drinking, right? <laughs> No, that's not how that works. It's, we're fishing, so you have to drink. We have a. Oh, oh there we go. Again. Is that the same kind of bite? Um, a little bit different. This time it kind of. The first one was just a pull down, like. This one was just. If you're really serious, you'll go to the bathroom right now. That's the only way you're going to catch a fish. I know, that's right? That's how you do it every time. I can't tell. Like, what? It's been two times for sure yeah. where. I've gone in to go to the bathroom, and then like I'm going to the bathroom, and Carrie's like, "Mike, Jay's calling for you. Jay's calling for you out there." I'm like you in the middle of going to the bathroom. I'm like, "Uh, okay." Yeah, you know? I got a rope. I can tie it off. <laughs> and then like, and then I'm running out there, and Jay's like, just my pole's bent over like this, and Jay's like, "Here, I, I've only reeled a little bit." <laughs> yeah. Isn't this spectacular, you guys? Even when it's a kind of a cloudy, overcast day. It's so beautiful here and very peaceful. We have a couple of neighbors down the way here, but like we don't really see them or hear from them. They haven't even been there the whole time. We were here by ourselves for the first couple of days. But this is a place we would definitely come back to and stay as long as we can stay, which is 14 days. Yep. But after here, where are we going? North Beach. Back to North Beach? That's right. Back south. To back North to, Beach. Back to her what? shelling, uh, her shelling haven. Back to my my shelling Shangri-La. Shangri-La. <laughs> <laughs> back to uh, hotter fishing action. Hotter yeah. fishing yeah. action and more rust. Yeah, that's the downside. Of you shelling. heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, in sand. The salt life is the rust life. We couldn't live on the North Beach for very long because we just come back to a big hunk of junk one day. Like, oh my God, it collapsed. <laughs> just an orange house. pile in the sand. Yeah, just a big orange pile. I think within... And a little green fleck of green. I think that was our bus. Right. I think the thing that annoys me the most about the beach, besides, besides the being wet all the time, mm -hmm. was the sand. Yeah. Honestly, it, it's a never-ending battle. You can't get ahead of it. There's no, there's no doormat that's going to save you. It's inside your uh, bus. Yeah, yeah, you're just constantly sweeping it. Yeah. And you're taking it into bed and everywhere, and you just can't help it. If your feet get wet like this, just a little bit, then all the sand sticks to it. Yeah. I mean, God, limited I visibility, because normally you can see the land on the other side of the bay over there, and right now you can see nothing but fog. But it's pretty. I think it's actually pretty when it's like this, and the water is so Catch still. Line. It's really nice. This is how this is how horror movies start. It's always a day like today. When All peaceful movie. and foggy. Yeah. yeah. Then the pirates come out of the mist and kill you. I do love the calm shore here. The calm waters instead of the crashing waves. Although I kind of like the crashing waves too. It's just nice to have the variety. I have no complaints about the whole what I've seen of the Gulf of Mexico so far. And I want to come back here again next winter. So one of the cool things we get to do today is go uh, catch some bait. And uh, I've never done this before. I've casted the net a couple of times, but I haven't caught anything. And uh, but we're going to head down to this place. Everybody says this is where all the little bait fish are and then we catch them and bring them back here. We keep some live so we can fish live bait and then 
we also freeze a whole grip of it so that we have some for, you know, just down the line so we can just fish. He has actually has a freezer in his RV that he uses for uh, keeping a lot of the fish. He feeds his family fish. Like he's constantly eating fish over there. So sounds healthy to me. Um, we've actually considered getting rid of our, uh, our washer machine to put a freezer in there just so we have an extra place to keep food and stuff. So we're just finding we're not using our washing machine as much as we thought we would. So that sounds like a, not a bad idea. And uh, so still kicking that around, we'll see. But anyway, we're getting our stuff together. We're gonna go off and cast a, we're gonna do a net, casting net and catch some bait. Let's do this. So we cruised over to this little place where everybody says the bait fish run. And it's this uh, section of bridge here. Now, if you, just FYI, if you're coming out to this place, Magnolia Beach area, this is actually a 10,000 pound bridge. So if you're rolling a schoolie, you're gonna have to come in the other direction, okay? Um, don't come in the Magnolia Street, uh, Magnolia Beach Street. You wanna go all the way around and come in like Indianola Beach or else you won't be able to, uh, you can't cross this bridge with your big schoolie. So, but this is supposed to be a little bait fish uh, place here. Let me show you. Nothing on the first cast, that's discouraging. How oh, beautiful. All right, now we're killing it. Decent bait. Got a couple little guys there. Oh. Well, there's something in here. Watched a couple of videos on, on YouTube about how to throw these nets and like everything that I tried wasn't working for me. I don't know if they had better quality nets than I did. But I, I adapted two uh, techniques, like how I uh, cinch up the net and grab it in my hand, and then how I actually hold it in my left hand, which is uh, one in the mouth and the other on the left hand, and kind of twist and throw. Gotcha. All right, all right behind you. What's your best haul in one cast? Probably my best haul in one cast is, I think I counted them, 72. Wow. Little minnows, and then the heaviest haul was where I caught minnows about that size. And probably about 27 of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that was, I could barely lift that out of the water. Wow. That was pretty heavy. Yeah, and that was on the beach. All right, first good haul right now. Oh no! Oh no! One oh, down. the lucky guy's gonna go back and tell his harrowing story. Yeah, the bridge ain't the best idea to be doing this. Right. <laughs> it's like you wouldn't believe it. No, I'm telling the truth. I swear. That's a big one. Yeah. What is it? Is it those are all mullets. Yep, yeah, all mullets. One more. That time I let it go all the way down. I mean, you can feel them hitting before it hit the bottom. Really, you can feel them like hitting heads in the net? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. It's really crazy. Like, you go in the ocean or stuff like that and how much life is right there at your feet while you're just messing around in the water. You know, little fish and bigger fish and actually some quite large fish and sharks and, and everything. They're just all right there. Stingrays, sharks, everything. Here's our haul for the day, guys. Not too bad. That'll definitely be enough for some bait for the next few days. He, he could put some in his freezer. We'll get it cleaned up, put it in his freezer, and then uh, we'll have uh, bait for days. And then fish and fish and fish and eat. Catch and cook. Catch and cook.
Skyler? Two hands. Two hands. Like a like a pizza pie. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Did it freak you out? Yeah. No, no, it's just slippery. Yeah, it is very slippery. So yeah, these guys are very yeah. slippery. You can hardly grab them with any. Wait, 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 pill 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 down. down. Yeah. They all have that. Yeah, pill pill I'm down. Not, I'm not putting them down. I'm gonna let them go, okay? Skyler's catching the stingrays, obviously. I only caught one thing so far. Did you catch it all by yourself? Well, Dad wheeled in a little bit. I wheeled in the last. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Do you know who gave me these flowers? Yes. No. Um, my mom's. My mom's dad. Your grandpa? Yeah. That's cool. And he gave me all that fishing stuff, except the stuff that came with the tackle box. Right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It makes it extra special that it was your grandpa. Yeah. For sure. Hey, come look at this fish right here. The teeth on it? Look at the teeth on it. Oh my gosh, it is a vampire. <laughs> that's crazy. These Mom, these are like beautiful colors though. Like if you get them in the oh sunlight, my gosh. right? It has like lavender scales. Yeah, it reminds me of rainbow Whoa. trout, but this it, since it's in the sea. They call it a sand trout. Wow. But he makes good things. A yeah. bucktooth sand trout. Yeah, and these are good <laughs> eating. Uh, like, we, we've ate them, and they taste similar to the spotted trout. <laughs> What's going on out here, Skyler? It might be lead drum. This oh is, this is the sound of, that dreams are made of right here. <laughs> that sound. Just build it in. He's still fighting me. <laughs> he's a beast. Got a little fish rodeo going on. Oh, over yeah, there. he's fighting headstrong. Very cool, very cool. Let him fight. Yep. Um, yeah, he's letting off my hand in the pole. Or if you're talking line. Uh, he's. Uh, he might be going on the other side of your pole right now. Usually they're underneath the line. Yeah. I, I, I want to hold in with my. No, no, no. Don't mess with it. Okay? Ooh, oh, it looks like you caught a mermaid. Oh my gosh, it's a monster. <laughs> this is a big fish. And this is fighting harder than the one yesterday. I think this is fighting a lot harder than the one yesterday. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe. That's a huge fish. <laughs> it's like I, the I size check, of Skyler. Skyler, <laughs> uh, by his mouth. Let go. I think he shouldn't be able to pull off of that, okay? Come on, come on, fish. You got him, man? Yeah. <laughs> we got to tangle up over here. I know, right? I saw his rod bent over from over there, and I was like, "That's a big rod." <laughs> it's a big fish. What kind of fish is that? Red drum. You guys keep them? Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Might, Might be too cool. big. But we'll check them out. Holy smokes! Is this one bigger than the other ones you were catching? I think so. So see my knee. Oh, that was it. And that, well, that's what, what I was going to show you. It? How, very how, how weak he was hooked in there. Yeah. So that's why I was like, that's why it's really important when you're bringing them in, yeah. to bring them in nice and easy, not let them have any slack. I really like this thing, by the way. That, that, Holy this. cow. Wow. <laughs> that's a monster. <laughs> so like, I think it deals and on the tail, if you want to hold them. No, my That's a real monster. Alright. Oh, yeah, I will fish that. Oh, my 
go. That's like 25 pounds. <laughs> yeah, take a Hey, reach in my pocket, huh, to get my camera and take a pic pic picture of this. Okay. So we've already tagged out on gigantic fish. So anything over 28 inches, I don't have a tag for anymore. And so we kind of have to we have to throw them back unless I go buy more tags. Um, but also the other thing is, is when they get really big like that, the, the meat isn't very good anymore. And uh, they tend to have worms and parasites. So the smaller fish are more tasty. The smaller big fish. The smaller big fish are more tasty and less likely to have parasites so, and weirdness. Yeah, so we do that one back. Yeah. Fishing. Wait, is this a red drum or this a black drum? This is a red drum. drum. This is a red? Yeah. Excellent. So we're going to let him go. He's too big to keep and eat. Oh, he's too big? Yeah, he's just too monstrous. I don't, I don't think he is. Do you think so? We no. should eat him? Yep. <laughs> Let's eat him. I don't think All too right, big. Jay, the voice of reason. That's the perfect size, right? The there. voice of reason in the this dark. Is, yeah. Oh, this is huge. We can measure him and I'll show you. He's, it he's fills not... in at like. I was going to say, 20 this is, pounds. I think that the one that Jay I'm caught fine, that very first day, the one he brought over is a little bit bigger than this one because I just watched that video today. Yeah. Although, I don't know, maybe right about the same. So we learned some stuff. So there was this guy out there and he was just like a really, like he's been doing this his whole life here. <laughs> Whoa. He's been doing this his whole life here on the, uh, on the island or on the, over here. And uh, what he said was, that there's certain things you want to look for. You want to look for stuff here on the on these uh, on this fin up here, and you look for red spots, like because there's a lot of parasites and stuff. And then right around here, on both sides, you want to look right around here, and you'll see little red dots and stuff. And those are also indicative of, of a fish that's not uh, that's sick. And so that would be something you would so, not want to eat. You would just yeah. throw it back. Yeah, they call them uh, they call them worms. Uh, what they say that they have, and they say it's. I mean, for a human to eat it, it's not really bad. It just tastes like mud, is how he described Ooh, it. Ooh, weird. This, for the yeah. sake of the wor word here, I'm actually tagging this fish because this is a taggable fish, and by law, I have to tag this fish. So I'm tagging this fish, um, even though we're going to clean it right now. It's kind of like irrelevant, but. High five, man. People right. said it couldn't be done. Here we are. Is this your biggest <laughs> fish, Mike, ever? I, no, I think I the one think I so. caught at the dock the other other day was actually bigger. Oh, uh, okay, but your your biggest keeper? Yeah, this will be probably my biggest it. keeper. This, like, by law, I have to actually tag it because it's so big. Oh. Over, what, 28 inches, it has to be tagged. So oh, sorry. Um, that's what we're doing is tagging this one because it's just a huge... Huge fish. You know, the funny thing was, is like everything I read about this beach is just bad fishing here and you can't catch anything. But tonight, twice, I've had to dive for my pole because it pulled the rod holder over. <laughs> like literally dive for it. So, but this was a fun fight. We had to fight it. It started over here and then we went over and I had to walk over the jetty while fighting this fish. Oh my gosh. Over to the other side over here because it was fighting so hard and it was taking line 
and fighting like a beast. It was a real beast. So, yeah, we didn't win. Well, well, I'm so, glad you won the battle. Quite a sport. Heck yeah. Sport he was, fish. I guess it's pretty good. So. And he's going to feed us for meals. Right. Like this is probably, this is four, four or five meals right here. Hey, this is a lot of fish. Maybe we can try some smoked red drum. It sounds like we're going to have to. It's a catch and cook video. Who knew? Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So Mike is just barely filleting his fish, and Jay is already hooked into another one. Night fishing is exciting. Yeah, your I am. Uh, Mine uh, going? No. I, I'm tying up in yours. Holy cow, man. It's like he knows what's about to happen to him. <laughs> That's my brother, you asshole. <laughs> Charlie, yeah. I'm coming! <laughs> are, you, are you recording, Sarah? <laughs> Look at that beast. All right. See, I think these are perfect. Another one, just like his twin. I think they're, these are perfect size, man. Right? Get some Amazing. big old thick fat fillets off those suckers. Damn, it's heavy. Oh, nice. See, I barely had him hooked, man. Oh, you got him there too. Well, I think that's what I was feeling. I just felt, oh, I felt holy. a weird stomp. <laughs> Every time he picked it. <laughs> he barely picked it up. <laughs> this is like right out in front of our bus, you guys. That's our bus and those lights over there. And here's us on the beach. <laughs> and now we have a pile up on the fillet table. Now we can feed the a tribe. Up. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I look like... at that. They look like twins. We gotta see which one's bigger. No, oh yeah. I'm kidding. They look samesies. Stop humanizing them. <laughs> They're dinner. <laughs> hey, I have no problem with twin dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Typical guys measuring contests. They're almost identical. Man. <laughs> yeah. I told you. Oh my god. This one is like half an inch. I think you got me by longer. half an inch. Half oh my an god, inch. That is so cool. I told you, twinsies. Very oh god, man. Oh my right. god. You gonna get a hey, high five for that. Fuck. That is awesome. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Everything you read says you don't catch fish out here. Fishing's kind of slow. This is what, within 15 minutes of each other? Yeah. Just a little run came through and Literally. then we got into it. I haven't even, this guy's still kicking. We haven't even got done with him yet. I know, there's a lineup. Maybe we should figure out how to smoke some of this fish. We are gonna smoke some of this fish. Oh, we are definitely gonna a smoke some of this fish. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> it's so tickle time right now. <laughs> Blah! Perry! <laughs> I'm starting to gather why he gets beat up all the time. 